In this video, I want to talk about Giraffe as a drafting tool, how Giraffe can be used to draw uh, models, 3D models, quickly and accurately. And I'll be contrasting Giraffe to something like Rhino. Um, but whatever, whatever drafting tool you use, Revit, Rhino, CAD, SketchUp, they are very similar in their concepts. And, um, and Giraffe's in that family. So the first thing to understand or to notice about Giraffe is there's already a background. And this, the value of this can't be overstated. Because Giraffe is focused on cities, we can put you in a map of the world and a map of the city and you can just, you start immediately as opposed to something like Rhino. If you hit new file in Rhino, you get a gray background. Same with Revit, same with SketchUp. SketchUp allows you to import like a little section of the map, but Giraffe puts you in a map of the world because we are focused on urban modeling and urban design, whereas Rhino does anything from rings, jewelry, through to buildings, boats, toys. You know, Rhino's this hyper-flexible tool. And, and so they, there's nothing sensible to put back there, whereas we can just put you in a map of the world. So it's very quick, and it's all, always to scale. So I'm going to be drawing in meters, but if you're in, uh, in America, it works in feet. The next thing to know about Giraffe is it's got a limited set of tools. It's got polygon, rectangle, point, and line. Those are the, the data primitives the Giraffe allows you to edit and create, which is similar to, to Rhino. So I can draw a polyline in Rhino. I can hit RS and draw a rectangle. Um, same in Giraffe. Okay. Oh, that one's just disappeared. Um, and I can draw a rectangle and I can draw a point. Now, to accelerate things, Giraffe makes heavy use of shortcuts. So R for rectangle. And Giraffe only has a three-point rectangle. It has no orthogonal rectangle. If I hold down Shift, I'm locking to an angle, but I always have to choose the base sort of, of the rectangle, and then I can drag the rectangle out from there. In Rhino, if I type in RS, I get a two-point rectangle. So if I want to draw a rectangle to an angle, I think I have to type in rectangle, uh, and then I can go three-point rectangle, and then I do that kind of a rectangle. All right, and once I've got a rectangle geometry in Giraffe, I can extrude it like this with these extrude handles that are at the quarter and the three quarter point of the line. I can add a node. I can remove a node by clicking on it. A very similar polygon edit. If I come to Rhino, drag nodes. I can insert a control point in Rhino like this. And in Rhino to extrude, you actually grab two nodes and extrude like that. Now, what about precision? A lot of people ask us about, oh, but I need my exact dimensions. And so similar to Rhino, similar to SketchUp, Giraffe allows direct inputs, dimensional inputs. So if I want a, a rectangle that's exactly 10 by 20 meters, I can click, I type 10, I hold shift to lock it, and then I type 20. All right, now I have a 10 by 20 meter rectangle with an area of 200 meters. And if I want to copy this rectangle, I hold CLV. And we have a base point move. So what I just did there is I hit space to get to the command line, base point move. Base point move is a precise way of moving. So I'm gonna hold the S key to snap, very similar to, and I'm gonna snap this rectangle to the other corner like that. And then I'm gonna go again, and I'm gonna snap it like that. Now I have two rectangles 10 meters apart from each other. If I wanted to grow this one exactly two meters more, I would start extruding and hold down two. So in Rhino, we would draw a rectangle, 10, and then 20, we get our rectangle. Then we go move and type in 20. So that ortho, ortho stuff, or copy and type in 20, that orthogonal lock, currently we don't have orthogonal lock in Giraffe, but we're working on that. But we're getting something quite precise. Now the other thing with Giraffe is the jump from 2D to 3D is very direct. In, in Rhino, these 2D primitives turn into 3D primitives really nicely. So I'll draw a, a base point surface 
and try and uh, and then now I can ex uh, extrude it extrude surf and I can make it a solid right and if I turn this into a rendered view you'll see I've made like a nice box okay there's that box and I can extrude the curve uh, and also make it a solid and I get a box that way now because giraffe is built to abstract buildings the way to get a building is to select the type of building community and then to assign the number of levels and that's the way that giraffe allows you to create 3d there's no true 3d in the sense you can't move that point without moving this point this block is just a, an extruded polygon very simple very quick coming back to rhino if i explode this thing and then i can now and no, no, i hit f10 i get those control points i can you know this is a true 3d volume this i can sort of play with and, and turn into whatever shape i want this is not the case with giraffe giraffe makes 2.5d prisms doesn't mean you can't make relatively complex buildings in giraffe so the way we do that is by stacking them and just before i stack them notice again strong use of hotkey so q the left hand adds levels and a removes them q is above a q up 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 a is below down 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 and we have this thing called uh, a stack so if i want to make a complex building with a podium and a tower say i'm going to stack this block on top of this other block and the block that has the highest stack order goes on top and our shortcuts there are e to add to stack order and d to remove stack order so if i take this d this stack order below one this guy will suddenly go on the bottom. So Q to add levels, A to move levels, and then uh, E and D to, to increment and decrement stack order. And this is how we build precise, quick sketches of buildings in Giraffe. The final tool I'm gonna to show you is the grid tool. So if I hit the G, comes the grid, and if I hold snap, I can snap to this grid. To set the grid, to edit it, I type space and I look for edit grid. And then I click a point, so I could snap there. And if I want, say, a um, four meter grid, I type uh, four, hit the four key. And then I want this thing at 60 degrees. And I, so I hold shift and I click, I now have a four meter grid at 60 degrees. Okay, so now we are, now we're cooking, so let's make a, long you know four meter yeah boom i'm making geometries i'm holding the s key so i'm snapping in precise um, distances and i'm getting precise integer geometries currently you hold space to rotate within 15 um, degree increments and you can drag we will be using we'll be adding base point rotate and other wrap you know other drafting tools shortly Okay, the last thing I want to show is uh, exporting and importing of DXF. Uh, 